Two track released two easy axes called Signature Part 1 and Part 2 back to back. This video is specifically about the first one called the Signature Part 1 Easy X. I also have a separate video for the Signature Part 2 Easy X. Check my description below. Engineer Michael Ilbert and drummer Norman Garshka are the same guys that brought you the majority of the Core Easy Drummer 3 product. We have three kits, and one of them was also recorded with mallets. We have a cowbell and a non-future hit tambourine that e-drummers might appreciate. These kits were recorded at Sunset Sound in Los Angeles, specifically in the famous Studio 2 room. It looks like Michael Ilbert made so many presets, 49 to be exact, that Toontrack decided not to add their own on this one, which is rare. And as for the MIDI, Norman provides six songs, one of them intended specifically for mallets. Something that popped out to me was seeing the folder structure names being more elaborate than normal in this product. A side stick verse, for example. Also, this product seems to recommend which kit you may want to use for which song in the style headers. I'll be matching the right song with the right kit for continuity's sake. So coming up, we'll hear every single library preset and every single MIDI song included in the Signature Part 1 Easy X, and then we'll be changing it up by checking out the eight individual drum kit presets and also see what drum brands were recorded. Here comes the library presets. I'll see you in a bit.
there was only one cowbell being the LP Inspire Rock Cowbell and one tambourine being the LP Cyclops that were recorded in the CZX. Take note, when it comes to the white opal drum kit, these next two kits only have a different kick and snare. All the other instruments are identical. The same goes with the pink sparkle kit. The second one here only has a different kick and snare. And the same goes with the stainless steel and the preceding kit. But this last kit here is the same as the first stainless steel kit except performed with mallets instead of drumsticks. We'll use the original mix preset so we can better hear the tonal differences with the least amount of processing. The white opal kit has Ludwig toms, WFL kick, black beauty snare, a hybrid peisty 602 heavy and signature dark crisp hi-hats, pasty 602 thin and paper thin crashes, and a signature dry ride. alternate kit has the same WFL kick but dampened in a Slingerland Radio King snare. The second alternate kit has a Ludwig kick and a Rogers power tone snare. Slingerland toms and Radio King kick, Tama Bell brass snare, Muret Dural dark sea hi hats, Muret Dural Renaissance dark and arena crashes, a Bosphorus master crash, and a Zildjian Avitas 1950s ride. Alternate kit has a leady and Ludwig kick with a fluffy beater and a walnut custom snare. The stainless steel kit has Ludwig stainless steel toms and kick, Ludwig 402 superphonic snare, Pasty Signature Heavy Hi-Hats, Pasty Signature Full and Traditional Crashes, and a 2002 Ride. The alternate kit has a smaller Ludwig Stainless Steel Kick and a 400 Superphonic Snare. kit is the same as the first stainless steel kit except the snares are disengaged and the toms and kick have no snares bleed in their microphones. I hope this overview of the signature part one easy X was helpful to you. I'm Sean from Shooty School. If I ever made your day, consider contributing to me so I can make more content.
for you. I have two Tune Track theme Facebook and Discord support groups. The links are below. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more Tune Track content from me. I'll see you on the next one.